I'm Andrew Ross Sorkin of the New York Times for Dealbook here with Rob Cox of Reuters Breaking Views. And we're talking about compensation. You, you also wrote a pretty provocative column about a, a new comp idea that Barclays is contemplating. Tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, these are called contingent convertibles. It's basically a bond, which if everything goes wrong at the bank, turns into equity. So, so hold on, let's just take this one step yeah. back. So if I'm an employee of the bank, this is how I'm going to get paid. I'm well, going to get paid in bonds? Yes. Okay, right now you're employee of the bank. You've got... I don't know, a million dollars, right. okay, you get in bonus. 400,000 of that might be cash. Okay. The other 600,000 is called deferred comp. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly come in the form of restricted stock in your own company. Remember all those guys yep. at Lehman who had it? Didn't work out for them. But now what might, they might do is they'll say, okay, instead of getting 600,000 in stock, we'll give you 300,000 in stock and 300,000 in essentially a bond. Now it's a bond which for regulatory purposes can be converted to equity in a heartbeat if, for example, there's some problem with the bank and regulators deem right. it so needs this more is, capital. This is more, this is more for the capital issue of the bank than it is for the employee. Yes, it is, but, but at the same time, it's actually, if you look at it from an employee's perspective, it might be better to own a, a bond in some ways. Right now, you could look at, right? right. I mean, if you're getting 8%, which is what Barclays is, is talking about, and remember, this is just bar cap we're talking about, the investment arm of Barclays, um, and other firms in Europe are thinking about it. It's basically an 8% bond, which, you know, it turns into equity, which isn't the end of the world if, if things go wrong. Regulators like it. You could argue that a bond is less leveraged, right? So you don't have okay. the same incentive to swing for the fences as you do with the stock. Let me ask just more holistically yeah. about comp on Wall Street. Do we think that anything has changed at all? I'd say the attitude is the same. People are still whinging about bonuses being lower. But actually, if you look at it, they're just lower because revenues are down. Right. So this is perfectly right. It should be down because the bonus pool is shrinking, therefore bonuses should shrink. And at the same time, they should even shrink more because salaries have gone up. Okay, final question then. Is this a new reality? Meaning, the, the lower bonus, is this the new reality of Wall Street or is this a temporary uh, sort of uh, I don't bump think along so. a road and uh, no. two or three years from now we're going to be talking about much bigger numbers These all over are again. Well, I think we're looking at austerity around the world in the developed world for the next few years. So I would say yes, it's going to be sort of austere. Austerity is going to rule the day. But I will say Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley has an absolute banner year. Bonuses are going to be up whatever the revenues are up by. And whatever you know? the optics. And so whatever the optics, I think so. Because everybody's going to feel good if that happens. Rob Cox, thanks for the conversation of Reuters Breaking Views. I'm Andrew Ross Sorkin of the New York Times for Dealbook.